You're sitting at your desk, staring at a pile of books or an unfinished project. But instead of working, you pick up your phone. Just a quick scroll, you tell yourself. Hours later, you're still there, lost in videos, memes, and endless notifications. Sound familiar? What if I told you there's a hidden force in your brain controlling these decisions? A chemical so powerful, it can make or break your success. That force is dopamine, Curie. And today we're uncovering how it works, why it tricks you into choosing distractions, and most importantly, how you can take back control. Let's dive in. Section one, the dopamine dilemma. Here's the problem. Every day you're faced with choices. Do you study for that exam or do you watch just one more episode? Do you work on your goals or do you scroll through social media? Most of us know what we should do, but we end up choosing the easier, more fun option. Why? Because your brain is wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. And dopamine? It's the chemical that fuels this behavior. It's the reason you feel amazing when you win a game, laugh at a meme, or get likes on a post. But here's the catch. Dopamine doesn't care about your long-term goals. It only cares about instant rewards. Section 2. The Science of Dopamine Let's break it down. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, a tiny messenger in your brain that controls pleasure, motivation, and reward. When you do something enjoyable, like eating your favorite food or watching a funny video, your brain releases dopamine, and it feels so good that your brain wants more. Scientists even studied this in rats. When rats were given activities that triggered dopamine, they would stop eating and drinking just to keep chasing that high. Now think about this. How often have you skipped meals or stayed up late just to keep scrolling or gaming? That's dopamine hijacking your brain. Section 3. Why Your Brain Chooses Distractions So why does your brain keep choosing distractions over hard work? It's simple. Dopamine loves instant gratification. Activities like studying, reading, or working on a project don't give you that quick dopamine hit. They require effort, focus, and patience. But social media, video games, and parties? They're designed to flood your brain with dopamine. And once your brain gets a taste of that, it's hard to stop. It's like trying to eat broccoli when there's a plate of pizza right in front of you. Your brain will always choose the pizza unless you train it to do otherwise. Section 4. How to Take Control of Dopamine Now here's the good news. You can take control of your dopamine. It's not about eliminating fun or cutting out all distractions. It's about balance. Start by identifying your triggers. What activities pull you in and waste your time? Is it social media, video games, or something else? Once you know your triggers, set small, achievable goals, break your tasks into chunks, and reward yourself after completing each one. This way, you create your own dopamine hits for doing the hard work. And finally, limit distractions. Turn off notifications, use focus apps, or set specific times for checking your phone. Over time, you'll train your brain to prioritize what truly matters. Section 5. The Bigger Picture Here's the truth. Dopamine isn't your enemy, it's a tool. When used wisely, it can motivate you, keep you focused, and help you achieve your goals. But if you let it control you, it can lead to procrastination, distraction, and wasted potential. The key is to understand how it works and use that knowledge to your advantage. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. So take control of your dopamine and take control of your life. So what's your next move? Will you let dopamine control you, or will you take charge and use it to fuel your success? The choice is yours. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on productivity, self-improvement, and understanding your mind. Thanks for watching, and remember, your brain is powerful, but you're even more powerful. See you in the next video.